Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. If you watch my show, first of all, appreciate you big time. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. But I recently did a video on 450 Bushmaster and barrel length. I had one with a 16 inch barrel. I had one with a 22 inch barrel. And I thought, you know, in theory, the longer one, most center fire cartridges is going to be faster. And in 450 Bushmaster, it was, but it was pretty interesting on the amount of speed that we gained from the long barrel 450 Bushmaster. I did end up trading in my short barrel 450 Bushmaster yesterday or the day before. Um, and while I was there trading that in, I got a new 350 Legend. I'm always trying to do fresh new content on the show. Um, so what I took home was this used CVA Cascade 350 Legend. Now it's got a 22 inch barrel. Now, I'm glad I didn't trade this in yet um, so I could do this video. I have a Howa Model 1500. You can get these barreled actions and then put whatever stock you want. That's what I did. This is a Boyd stock. This is a 16.25 inch barrel. I've got a bunch of videos up on this Howa ammo test deer hunt. One of my favorite deer hunt videos is with this. Um, I took two young folks out last year and let them hunt with this and it did fantastic. Uh, it was actually with the ammo we're using today. 180 grain core locked 350 legend. Um, and I'm gonna ammo test this in this new CVA. Um, I've already tested it in the Howl. But the question of the day is 16 inch barrel, 22 inch barrel, 350 legend. My opinion, 350 Legend is kind of a weak round. Um, so you might want as much sauce on it as possible. Some people disagree with me, but I think more boogie is always better. More boogie is flatter. It's more energy. It's more deer dropping power. Um, and that's what we're looking for with deer rigs, right? It's going home with a deer in the back of the truck. So I have a theory that it's going to be a greater difference in the speed than what we saw in the 450 Bushmaster, but I honestly don't know. So I'm gonna send a couple down range with the chronograph with the 16 inch barrel Howa and then some with the 22 inch barrel. Super quick video. I'm not trying to drag this out, uh, but we need the data. So let me get my ears in and we'll have some 350 legend data. Here's what these uh, 180 grain core locks look like. Typical lead tip core lock. I'm gonna send two down range of each. I don't wanna burn a whole bunch of ammo. Um, yeah, let me get my chronograph aimed in the right way. Super quick video. And then we'll have the data. Um, I've never seen anyone do this data. I'm sure somebody has in the past, but now I'll have it and I'll know the data and y'all know the data. On the end, uh, one thing I do like about both of these is they're both pretty heavy barrel 350 Legends um, and they're threaded 5 8 This is my Banish 46 can, 46 caliber can on there. Uh, but since they're both threaded the same, I can just swap that can right onto that one. So here we go. Let's uh, send a couple down range with the Howis short barrel. See what speeds we get here. I've got a, uh, what is this, one and a half to eight power scope on here. It's probably be the one that I, I'll probably just swap this scope over to that CVA. But let's get some speeds here. I didn't turn my chronograph on. Man, I hate wasting ammo. That stinks. Mm. But let's send two of the short barrel. 2041. And that was a clean 2100. So let me put that in my phone so I don't forget. I'll have all the averages and everything here in a second. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That one had a kind of a large variance. You know what? Let's send one more so we have better data. 2124. That's more like it. Uh, now, let's do the long barrel one. All right, now, got the same can on here. Let's send some down range with the CVA. 
2186, goes faster. 2232, it's definitely faster. I'll be right back, let me do some quick calculations and show you the math and I'll put it all up on the screen here. Be done, quick video and we'll have the data for science. All right, so looking at the data here, I did use all the data. So the Howell, we had a 2041, a 2100, and then a 2124. The average of the Howell was 2088 feet per second. And on the CVA, I got a 2186, a 2232, Average for the CVA was 2209. The difference is 121 feet per second. So what is that? Six inches more of barrel for 350 Legend got me an extra 121 feet per second. So that's a bigger gap than we got, almost twice as much gap as we got from the 450 Bushmaster doing the exact same test. So my theory, my, theory, my assumption was correct. The 350 Legend longer barrel, we get more performance than we did out of a longer barrel 450 Bushmaster. But that's it, guys. Um, I'm keeping the CVA Cascade, and I'm going to uh, trade off that Hawa. But uh, if you haven't seen that Hawa 350 Legend deer hunt, check it out. Like I said, we use this stuff right here and took, took two deer, and it's one of my favorite videos. But there we have it. Does the barrel matter on a 350 Legend? Well, the longer one, we got 120 feet per second. I will leave it up to you guys. Like I said, I like more boogie. Um, 350 Legend, that's not a backcountry round. You're not gonna be lugging it 10 miles down in the backcountry. So to me, weight doesn't really matter. It's a stand rig, um, something close to the truck probably. I don't know. Anyways, I think the barrel Length is worth it, 120 feet per second. That's more energy, that's more flatter. Appreciate y'all. Now we know, 350 Legend Barrel Length. Appreciate y'all. Make sure you're subscribed. We'll see y'all on the next one. Hoo hoo